Cool. What up, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't finna waste no time. Man, Destiny want me to watch this, so I'm gonna watch it, man. What the heck? <laughs> I already heard something that just sounded crazy already within the first three seconds. I don't want to hear that. Like, listen, y'all, the first three seconds. He gave you the worst dick in life. Like, I don't even want to know that. I don't want to know that. I don't want to know. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't even want to think about that. She a virgin in my eyes. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know nothing. Hey, look, anytime I date a girl, I promise y'all, bro, I'll be like, you a virgin. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even want to think about that. I don't want to think about none of that. No, ain't nobody else ever been with you, right? <laughs> just tell me that, okay? <laughs> Make me. Yeah. I. Yeah, <laughs> be walking around thinking somebody else been kissing on my girl neck, boy. Hey, nah. <laughs> Anyways, all right, Destiny. 30, man, it is. Nah, just one. <laughs> what is toxic to you? Are you still cool with the shit? Is, would you have a threesome? Oh god, this is toxic. This video toxic. <laughs> yeah, you mean that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you mean the baby, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Put that baby in you, for sure. Hey, now that's crazy. That's too funny, man. This is gonna be crazy, bro. Destiny, bro, I can't take this, bro. Y'all already know, it's your girl, Adore Destiny, back up again with another video. Can't take and y'all know when I leak up with the girl, <laughs> <laughs> She just put her lips up. Mm -hmm. Like, you already know, <laughs> I ain't gotta say nothing. Hey, see some cool too, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what she is though? A Leo or something? She said Trump. <laughs> so today we're gonna be putting each other in the hot seat because I'm not gonna lie. The only person you're missing is uh 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 Whitney. <laughs> Whitney, Whitney, she trouble, fluffy, Whitney, fluffy, all hey bro, y'all are a mess, bro. Not a mess, but like, man, bro, like <laughs> Y'all are good. I love it. We got this spicy question. Why is this question that needs to be answered? And I feel like y'all need to know. Okay. Well, y'all don't need to know, but we gonna let y'all know. Yeah. We gonna put y'all on. Whatever they say, they lying. Not just lying, just playing. We don't know if they lying, but I think they lying. They gonna tell a little bit of truth, and they gonna tell a little bit of what they want you to know. <laughs> what they want you to hear. Uh, uh, Destiny, you gonna be on honey? Let's see. This is a little big. Give y'all something to talk about so y'all gonna talk anyway. Let's we'll see. So, um, we should do a flip recording to see who gonna go first. Do you got a recorder? Oh, no, no change. Pepper, rock, paper, scissors. Paper rock scissors. Who says that? This one. Don't excuse that. <laughs> Paper. Okay. Right, y'all. Today my birthday. Y'all tell me happy birthday in the conversation, okay? Destiny. Why are you so funny? <laughs> I don't care, she just wanna win. <laughs> she just wanna win. Are you making some kidney, bitch? I don't No, you just told me, honey. She just wanna win. Okay, so the men, they wanna know are you single? Are you in a relationship? Um, I'm not in a relationship, honey. I am very much so single, but I'm not looking for nobody. I'm not looking for nobody. I don't, mm -mm, I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you gave me the worst dick in life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me think. And you have to say why. Uh, no, you don't have to. Wait, you do have to say a name. Say a letter or something. Don't say no name. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Um, say a letter. And you have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, she. Yeah. Okay, who gave me the Letter. worst dick and why? Who gave me the worst dick? Uh, it don't even gotta be like the worst. You can just be like, it was just alright. I'm some alright shit. Um, I would say Micah. Oh gosh. <laughs> what? You couldn't bleep it out. <laughs> what? <laughs> and why? Uh-uh. Um, I just didn't feel a connection when we was having sex. Like I just feel like Oh, okay, that makes sense now. Yeah, it, it's not like if you can't connect, it don't matter. It it don't matter. It don't matter about nothing. It don't matter if you big or small. If if she don't connect with you, like if you're not in her mind. And in her heart, like you not connecting with her, like every, like she not gonna feel it, bro. Or she gonna feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? She gonna feel like, oh, it's too big, or it's too, or she gonna feel like, you know what I mean? It's just uncomfortable. Like she ain't gonna get too wet. Like you know what I mean? Because it's the connection. I really, it's like it ain't really like almost like y'all just trying just to see. Like uh, yeah, it ain't gonna be too good. It ain't gonna be too good either. Either either way. Either either side, it ain't gonna be too good. You gonna be in it? You gonna be like, oh, this shit trash. This shit ain't too good. You know, oh, let me go ahead and get mine. Let me mm, let me hurry up. Mm, I gotta get up out of here. Mm. Like you see what I'm saying? I I definitely been in a situation like that before. <laughs> I was gonna say a couple, but I ain't gonna say that. I've been in a situation like that before. It just it just it, like she said, the connection just ain't there. But when it's there, whoo whoo, he be sweating and everything. Again? Oh, let's go. <laughs> One he didn't hit. please me like it wasn't enough foreplay. I feel like he didn't give me. Oh, see, see, yeah, he wasn't connecting enough. Dang. He just fucked with me. Yeah. Well, maybe he was ready. She wasn't hot and ready yet. He looked at you. He got hot. He was like, "Ooh, destiny." <laughs> <laughs> Understandable though. He wasn't his fault. I mean, you know what I mean. What? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> this gotta be an Asian guy to ask this. I think this gotta be an Asian guy. Like he was an Asian guy like he had <laughs> Cause ain't no black man asking that. I wanna answer that question cause It gotta be an Asian guy. Wait, them niggas don't even understand. They don't understand running an empire. They do not understand, bro. They don't understand communicating and building rapport. Like, yeah, you check in every week. Destiny, you good, man? Make sure you keep up them videos, man. You Gucci. Like, that's it. You ain't got to say too much, man. <laughs> then they'll find some other girls and then they forget about you until they see you. Yeah, ooh, girl, you shiny. You looking good. Ooh, I see that skeleton. Ooh, I see them diamonds. Now, now they back on your team again. Ooh, you want to do another video? Now, oh, yeah, you know, we've been cool. It's just, you know, I've been busy. Now they start talking about that. The bullshit they be talking about. Y'all already know how to talk, go. It's like, boy, be quiet. Get up out of here, man. If you was worried about me, you would have you found me. You would have hit me up. You would have da 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 Same, same, vice versa. If the girl was worried about you, same with the If the girl worried about you, trust me, she going to hit you up. <laughs> I'm going to let you know right now. She going to send you good morning messages and all. She going to come fly to you. I'll tell you right now. She going to fly you out. I'll tell you right now. It's going to happen too many times. So you ain't got to worry about none of that. Man, what? If she really wants you, she gonna get you. <laughs> she definitely gonna get you. Trust me on that. And she gonna lock you down. Same vice versa. Right? But, but, listen to, listen closely. If you messing with broke people, or you messing with people who really don't have good intentions for you, <laughs> they can't do much for you. That's why they can't fly you out. And they won't. They gonna find somebody in their city to fuck with. You get it? Until you come in town type shit. But y'all gotta really read those red flags for what they are. Don't think everybody genuine. Everybody ain't genuine. Are you so cool? <laughs> we we five and ten. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. The people want to know. The people of America keep asking. 
<laughs> so you let them know. I'm going to leave that in his hands. The ball is in his court. Yes. Okay, the next question is, what is toxic to you? What's toxic to me is a liar. Mm. I cannot stand a liar, like a unprovoked liar at that. Like people, niggas, they just lie for no reason when you don't ask them, when they just be dry, just making up shit. That's so toxic to me. Like, stop all that lying. We grown as hell. We grown as hell. <laughs> just lace me up. Tell me what's up. What am I going to do to you? What am I going to do to you as a female? I mean, I can do a lot, but <laughs> I'll let you make it. You're going to take that hot, wet, <laughs> run away. <laughs> and if he can't get that no more, so he is lying to stay in that purse. He trying to stay up in that. that what, that, what that girl called it yesterday, that stud? She said, she said, the bucket. <laughs> she said, put the, she said, the bucket. He trying to stay in the bucket. He trying to stay all up in there. So he gonna lie his way to stay up in that thing. It's like being part of a gang and you just messed up. No, man, I didn't even do it, bro. No, man, that was Jodo down the street, bro. That wouldn't even be, bro. I had nothing to do with that, bro. I wouldn't even go over there, bro. He gonna lie to stay in that gang. No, nah, baby, that wasn't me, bro. I ain't talking to that girl, man. They lying, bro. That, man, no, nah, man, she was trying to talk to me. She was kissing on me. He trying to eat, hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, he trying to stay up in that thing, man. And then if the other girl turn around and be like, hey, what's up? Now you might have some problems, right? If he ain't loyal, right? Because then he might, he might just go find him two buckets. Now he got two buckets. He got two buckets. Think he big papa he got two buckets, got two buckets. <laughs> One of them buckets gonna get a little dry. I'll tell you that right now, because she gonna feel the connection uh, dripping out to the other bucket. The other bucket gonna be full, the other bucket gonna be uh, uh, piling over the water coming right up out that thing, man. The water running out that thing, man. God bless the water running out that thing. The other button gonna get a little dry. She's gonna be like, man, what's going on, bro? You ain't communicating like you used to. You ain't calling. When you come over, you ain't you ain't kissing on me. You ain't touching on me. You acting all standoffish. She gonna start noticing the energy was transferred. It ain't given to her. It's given to somebody else now. So now she's like, what? Because you can't share the energy with two people. It's kind of hard, right? <clears throat> so she gonna notice that a little bit of some of the energy has been gone. She's gonna hold up now. This nigga, this nigga cheating on me. I already know. <laughs> like she already know intuition. Women already be knowing. She like something is fishy over here, and it ain't me, <laughs> right? So it's like, uh, uh-uh. she's like, uh, uh-uh. let me smell your ball. Let me smell your. What you? Let me smell your breath. Like you know what I'm saying? Because most of them they don't take no shower after they do. I tell you that right now. Once the men cheat on y'all, they don't take no shower and stuff, right? So all you gotta do is smell them. You already be knowing. You be like. Why you smell like another girl? Like you, you already be known. You already be known. Like, and the thing is, you just trust your intuition on it, man. Promise you. <clears throat> How many times have you been wrong? That is the question. Most likely, probably one out of ten. You only been wrong once out of ten. Most time, you're always right. Oh, so that's your main one. Yeah, a liar. Like being toxic is a liar. Oh. And a person that don't know how to keep their stuff in their pants. Like, why you not be having sex with the whole city? Right. Dirty. Yeah, that is pretty dirty. But I was going to tell y'all, um, I do music. So I'm going to give y'all the secret. The dark secret of the music, okay? The reason why most rappers just like getting ahead and stuff like that, right? The reason is because essentially, essentially, I know y'all heard 50 Cent song, I got the magic stick. Uh, 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 y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So essentially, yeah, Harry Potter, magic wand. <laughs> essentially, you know what I mean? So the thing is, though, most artists and athletes, you know what I'm saying? Because it's been talked to the athletes, too. They understand that um, when you go on uh, what they call retention or celibacy sprees, right? That it attracts, this law of attraction, it attracts, um, it's like a moth to a flame, right? You're the flame. You're bringing in that energy. You're not releasing it. You're just bringing it in. You're cultivating it, right? Cultivating, you're heating up. And what happens is <clears throat> things outside tend to come to you. And the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because you're going to start getting attention from other women, right? Unwanted attention too. Because again, it's like moth to a flame. She know you got the big energy. She feel it. She can hear it every time you talk. So the thing about that is other people can hear it too. 
right? Other people can feel it too, right? So you as a man, you gotta fucking stand and stand on being loyal with your woman if you were a girl. If you're single, that's and still if you single, you still can't even do that. You know what I mean? You still can't just be giving it to the whole city, right? Everybody don't deserve it, right? So it's like we gotta start. We we gotta we gotta put more boundaries, really. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Cause all, all that pussy ain't good, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Even if you go eat uh, salmon every single day, I bet you a couple of them days, you're going to be like, uh, it wasn't hitting on Tuesday and it wasn't hitting on Thursday. Like I said, all that ain't good. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, it says, what is your idea of a perfect day? My idea of a perfect day is we're going to do something fun like go to the moon. take me to go ride go karts or take me to an amusement park or take me bowling or like mudding, riding ATVs. Like, I just want to do something real fun so we can have an interaction with one another. I can really see the real you. Like, I don't really like going out to eat. Like, that's. I feel on that. <laughs> you can't do nothing going out there. You can't barely even hit a person. Because y'all can't really talk without people being in your business. Man, you being inside of a building, like she said, go out. ATV, all that stuff, go car, laser tag, all that stuff. Yeah. She didn't say skydiving. She's scared. <laughs> I was just like. <laughs> That's a cool day because I like to eat. But I don't know. It's kind of, sometimes it get kind of play. Like, no, for real. I'm just sitting here watching you eat. You're watching me eat. <laughs> Mm. Uh, I'm gonna do fun. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's not really much you can do yeah, at the dinner yeah. table. No. Other than what you doing after? Yeah, hey, I like she said. That's lame. I don't like that shit either. The go ride the go karts and stuff. Then we gonna get food too. And we still gonna do something else. No, just lying. But yeah. Take me somewhere fun, boo. Mm-hmm. Okay, it says, what made you start a YouTube channel? Uh, what made me start a YouTube channel is like I've always had so much personality and I feel like more and more people should see it and I've always been invited on other people's channels like I've always did collabs with other people on their YouTube channel and their viewers and their followers liked me so much they was out here looking for my page and I ain't have a page so instead of like building somebody else up I would rather just build my own stuff up so I was like let me take this time to you know Please, my viewers, start my channel, get Smart. my stuff off the ground, make my stuff so many, okay? Mm-hmm. Smart. Hello. He say, what type of guys are you attracted to? <laughs> what type of guys are you attracted to? <laughs> I feel like I've been attracted to all the wrong men. I, I, I don't know, but I like, I like dudes with tattoos. I like them tall. I like them smell real good. They gotta know how to dress. Put that shit on. And you gotta have good music taste. I feel like a nigga that just got good music taste, smell good, look good. Like the same music taste as you? Yeah, like, I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like that can make a vibe, like, I mean, a connection go to the to the next level. level. Like, if we both listen to the same music, and I like, I love when a dude don't just listen to rap, like he diverse with his music. I don't want to tell me I'm like, he don't just listen to rap all day. Body your horizon. Yeah. What's uh, it say, who you know that talk too much? So eventually turn on that party next door. <sighs> turn that party next door, man. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna turn out a uh, huncho real quick, man. We gonna got, you know what I'm saying? It's for her. We gonna, you know what I'm saying? That's, uh, uh, turn on some K Camp. You know, K Camp be talking his, his big one. That here? Green light playing right now. Ooh. Go wait. Go wait. Go wait. But yeah, I get it. Vibes, I get it. Man, I, man, that John will take you along. You've been, you've been in that relationship about like five, ten years, man. Especially if y'all on the right music, the same, y'all on the same vibe. Y'all, yeah. Same type of timing. Yeah. Sometimes you got to watch out for that, too, though. Yeah, um, when it's the right music. Because sometimes, sometimes I see people talking about, yeah, you know, I'm going to take you out on a date. Sometimes I'm going to take you out on a date. Sometimes I'm going to take you out on a date. Sometimes I'm going to take you out on a date. Sometimes I'm going to take you out on a date. Sometimes I'm going to take you out on a date. Sometimes I'm going to take you out
if I was in a, a mode where the whole year I've listened to a lot of rap, um, a lot of hype music, and I found someone else that was listening to a lot of, of the same type of music, that was my twin flame. Because I'm in, I'm in a hype type of music. I was like, that was a twin flame, right? Because we both hype. We both, that's a twin flame. A soul maybe one that got the R&B playing. They like them smooth jams. They just want that peace and that love. That's that, that uh, that's that soulmate right there. Light them candles, putting them flowers down and stuff like that. That's that soulmate right there. They want the peace and the love, right? The twin flame, they gonna heat it up. They gonna make sure everything fun, fast, just quirky, da da da. Just, but 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 sometimes that's not good. <laughs> So that's why you got to have a yin and a yang. You got to have that balance in there, a little bit of both. Cause if you if you too fiery, she gonna she gonna be like you annoying as fuck. If you if you too loving, she gonna be like ah oh, he a bitch. <laughs> like she like can run over him. So you got to be like kind of in the middle. You got a little bit of both. So you can you know what I mean. You can do this correctly. Same for the woman too. Sometimes we want y'all to put y'all foot down. You know what I'm saying? We don't want no, you be out in the streets and then you got men running over you and doing whatever with you. You know what I'm saying? So we, we like someone who got a little fire in them. And we like someone who got love and like we maybe we ain't have a good day. And I don't, I don't care for you asking me how my day was, but if you ask, you actually care. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, shit, just rubbing the nigga head. <laughs> you feel me? How about y'all? Just rubbing the nigga head. Just like, man. It's all right, baby. Rubbing the nigga neck, man. You feel me? That's it. I'm good. I'm good for the whole day. <laughs> Don't be asking for much, right? I just be like, I be talking. I love the talking. We know. What about news? What do you know? Talk too much. I know a lot of things. I know too much. Too messy. Okay, yeah, let's just do the next question. <laughs> it says, would you have a threesome? Would I have a threesome? Yes. I would have to pick the girl. It would have to be on my time, man. And the dude can't know the girl previous at all, because I don't feel like that. Mm. Okay, it says, like, if you was charged for sex, what would be the price? <laughs> what? <laughs> if I was charged for sex, what would so be the price? So if you were selling it, how much, how much boo? That'd be 10. How much you go for? How much you would like? At least. For? How much would I go for? Like, if you was a sex worker, how much would you charge people to Ten a play. I don't want to lie, like. Ten a play. I don't want a cool honey. Oh, honey, right, all right. I don't want a hundred thousand. That's cool. I would. So, and I know niggas ain't paying that, so guess who not selling this cops? <laughs> <laughs> they'll pay it. Uh, they'll pay it, trust me. I had a homegirl, she was over, right? <laughs> She's not gonna text my NFL boyfriend asking for ten thousand, and he cash tapped it to her. <laughs> I was like, okay. And she showed me the feed. They paying. Trust me, they gonna pay. You want a hundred thousand? They gonna pay. They gonna pay. Trust me on that. Which is real crazy. That's that's basically G wagon. So most of them uh, women that get the G wagon, it's basically the same same thing. They're basically the same, 100,000 G Wag, same thing. Sometimes that's that's them paying. They give it to you in some type of material form, you know what I mean? So that way it lasts a little bit longer because they just give you the money. It, so sometimes they give you something in material form that they feel like it's going to last or that you're going to cherish and hold for a little bit, right? But yeah. Yeah, they'll definitely pay. They'll definitely pay. The thing is, like you said, you. You don't want that. That's not what you want. You know what I mean? That's an end to a mean. <laughs> and then a hundred G's, let me think. A hundred G's. I ain't gonna lie. A hundred G's, you you mine. You ain't going nowhere. Put you in a dungeon. Like you ain't going nowhere. I spent a hundred G's on that, but you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you in the family now. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, man. 
I'll tell you right now, it's been 100 G's. You are not going nowhere. I'm not going to forget that ever. And ain't nobody else. The most I would do that, I'll do that for my mama. That's about it. I'm not giving no girl 100,000, bro. I'm sorry. I give, I, it, all right, let me, let me correct that, y'all. Let me correct that. Okay, we got to make sure we talk correctly, right? <laughs> I, I probably would give a girl 100,000. Let me stop it. <laughs> I had to think about it. <laughs> you know, I told y'all you buy a G-Wagon, that's the honey. So it's like, it, even if you even if you get the house, and I told y'all I don't like people staying in my house. So the thing what I would do is I'd get her her own house and have my own house. Even if the house next door, she gotta have her own shit. You can't stay in my shit. <laughs> Cause if I wanna, if I just, I'm tired of you, go home, go next door, you feel me? You know what I mean? Your family over, don't bring them to my fucking house. You and your family stay at your house. I'll come over there, don't bring them to my shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I ain't playing. I ain't playing. Don't bring them to my shit at all. No. I'm gonna right, come over there. <laughs> I'm so private, man. It's so crazy. Hey, what's your favorite type of corn if you watch it? Ooh, you're getting personal. Uh, you go on corn hub or whatever you go on. What you type in? Like, I don't do that no more. Okay. Hey, in the comments, let me know if y'all still go uh, watch porn. I don't do that no more. Let me know if y'all watch porn. <clears throat> I, I'm just gonna say, it. let me. Can I say it for you, for the guys? It's enough soft porn on 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 the internet. Period. Like, I mean, on social media and shit like that. And just in, in the world, I'm in Atlanta, so just in the world, I can go downtown and like in the summertime, I know for sure they go have their ass out and everything. I don't have to watch porn. <laughs> I can get it in real life. You see what I'm saying? So it's like. I don't, uh -uh. Mm -mm. So again, in the comment section, let me know when the last time y'all men out there uh, watched some porn. I don't see why you would be doing that. Like I said, it's enough women out here, I promise you, that you should never have to do that ever again. All right? Throw the whole phone away. Specific, but it's like I'm, I just thought about it. I'm like, oh, that means you must be on. Oh gosh, <laughs> I bet she do both. I bet. Yeah, I can see that. That's right now they're playing Young Blue right now. What day? I'm playing Young Blue right now. Play this. That's too funny. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She be that bitch screaming and cursing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until she bite her lip and look down at you. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you Go ahead. I like cream. What's the terminology for that? Cream pie? Yeah, like. Get away. Get away. Sometimes I look down, I'll be like, what the, what the fuck are you looking at? Oh, my dick. Oh, my bad. Man. They were like, all right, no, that's cool. Because it'd be wet. Like, you just came on my dick. Yup, I know exactly what you thought about. It'd be. <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> she a good friend. She funny. She funny. <laughs> Girls with big fat booties. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like sometimes. Even if it's fake. Even if it's fake. Sometimes, because it's just like. <laughs> it's like, yeah. That's why people like going to the strip club. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something else. I'm going to say it, because a lot of men ain't going to tell you. Just because. I'm, can I say it? I, I can say, okay. Just because your booty big. It don't change nothing with the pussy. Just cause your booty big, it don't change nothing with the pussy. Because when you bent over, the it's right there. You feel me? It's right, it's always right there. You know what I'm saying? Now, can I say this too? I'm a slim guy. I'm black, you know, I'm slim. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know slim tall guy. You know, you know what's going on with that. But uh the 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 slim women, oh my gosh. The 
is right there. <laughs> I can literally, it's right there. It's like right there. It's like a push of a button. It's right there. Yeah, thicker chicks, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's right there. I might have to move the lips a tad a little bit, you know, just tad a little bit over, over, boom. Oh, that bit pretty, right there. It's right there, that's the funny part. So they be like, you can't handle all this. It's like, it's right there. That's why skinny guys be like, y'all love the big women. It's exactly what she just said. They like seeing the ass go, and they know, we know the pussy is right there, so it don't make no difference. It don't, ma it don't matter if that thing was as long as the school bus the, is right there. I'm still gonna hit it every time. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's funny to me, though. They say, what's your least favorite position? Um, I Laying on my stomach like sniper mode, like when I'm laying on my stomach flat, and they be like, and I think it's because it's like, oh, it's like, oh my gosh, I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a six pack, you'd be good. Your stomach would be nice and flat. Nah, sometimes that'd be the fires, because then you can, like, I mean, for the guy. It's like, not only is you flat, I can still lift you up. Like, you know, I, I'm tired. Let me not get too good. Yeah, I mean, like, like, she flat, you can, like, lift her up. You can toss her on the side. Now you got her leg up like that. And flip her over, roll. Man, 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 what? Man, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my least favorite position is when you lay on your stomach like this. Like, you know, when you lay on your stomach Every wall, every everything, you just be like, <laughs> like pound town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that. Yeah, I'd be like, man, what is this? Is that the back? Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's going fire. Like, oh yeah, that's a, <laughs> yeah, that's that. Exactly, yeah. It's like, yeah, a hammer to a nail. If you send that like, that's correct. Or like a Glock. Boom, 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 boom. Or, or what about the Draco? <sighs> Anybody ever, uh, you know how, um, for the men, not for the women, because y'all don't know this, but for the men, it's like when you at that that state where you just you just stupid rock hard, and it's like you just like mm, mm, Jack can't run. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> she like, <laughs> she don't know what the fuck going on. It's like, <laughs> it's like if I if I if I do this right here, bro, we gonna be here for hours. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Let me go ahead and speed this up a tad, a little bit. <laughs> Cause we gonna be here for hours, and sometimes we got other stuff to do. Sometimes, right? <laughs> That's too funny, though. <laughs> I don't like that position like that. That's not really. Uh, yeah, she gonna be like, running. Don't be running. She be running. She be squirming. She probably was, uh, looking back like, <laughs> <laughs> get over here. Get over here. <laughs> Grab a whole neck. Get over here. <laughs> It's a celebrity. It's like, what celebrity? What celebrity would you let smash? Better be not. What celebrity would I smash? I don't even want to hear. I will. I'm about to skip this. Alright, baby. I'm about to skip that. So smash. I knew she liked her jazz music. I already knew it. Mm hmm. That's why I called the name out earlier. That she. I already knew it. And he talked. I already knew it. Nobody want to hear that though. No. No, we don't act like we need to hear that dog. <laughs> she's like, he can't have it. And when I. <laughs> she said, he can't have it. She's gonna leave it over there for him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll be back in a month, okay? I like that. No, no, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So you like a lot of people I like. As far as like actual. What she was saying about the music and stuff. Nardo was fire. Nardo, Honcho far right now. Black playing right now. Y'all know Black, Future. You know all the all the all the, all the D boys, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Obviously, right? 
Yeah. It's like, what is one thing that turns you off? Like, if you do this, it's just like, you can't do it. Brush it. <laughs> oh, she got a pretty nose. <laughs> Random thought. My bad, y'all. Random. One thing that turns me off, like, so bad, like, so, so bad, and a lot of y'all be like, it's out of that control. When y'all butt crack be showing. I hate that. I hate that too. My mom butt crap be showing. <laughs> and my grandma butt crap be showing. I'm like, your booty showing. Like, yeah. And then, nah, nah, I really hate when, um, it, it, damn, it's okay. That's family. I ain't even tripping. I hate when men butt crap be showing. I don't like that. Like, like to me, that, like, bro. Personally, none of my friends butt crap be showing. But just in general, I'm saying, like, if I'm out and then. You know, people that bend over, like, they shirt ain't even long enough. Like, why your shirt ain't long enough? I know you feel that breeze. Like, I know you feel the breeze because I be feeling the breeze. And I don't like feeling the breeze. That's why most times I tuck my shirt down. I don't want to feel no breeze. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, I don't like that, neither. Uh-uh. I do not like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Showing, how do you not feel the wind in that? See, crack? see, yeah, like it's, that's why I saying you tuck your shirt in. Like, I even got my shirt tucked in right now. Like, you always tuck your shirt in, bro. Like, wear two shirts, wear one shirt under. Like, yeah, I know how we wear a shirt under sometimes. The shirt under, make sure it's long, not the same size as the main shirt because it's gonna come out the pants. Make sure it's long to where it go past your dick, damn near, right? So, when you put it in your pants, you can lean, you can do jumping jacks, your shirt ain't never gonna come out. Your crack ain't never gonna be shown. Oh, another thing, Destiny, a lot of them men, they be having their pants off their ass. Personally, I'm not gonna lie. I don't ran from police before. I don't jump a, a, a lot of gates. You're not gonna be able to get nowhere. Another thing, it feels uncomfortable. It feels so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. And I know you got a breeze on your ass. <laughs> I know a breeze coming through. Like, that junk is bad. It's horrible, bro. You don't feel that wind just breathing in your crack. Like, <laughs> that shit dirty as hell. And right. then it's like, you got one time to do that. If it's continuous, <laughs> I'm just cutting you off. I'm really not even gonna say that because you should know. <laughs> <laughs> she really don't like that. Look at her face. Do you like when a man talk dirty or? Or you don't like when they talk at all. Like, oh, talk to me, moan in my ear, tell me that shit. Oh, God, she like that shit. She good, ain't it? You like that, don't you? Oh, that shit wet. She like that shit. <laughs> she like that shit. Because <sighs> you don't turn me up. Yeah. You, you don't turn me up. You like what he say? Uh huh? Mm. And you might just get a season pass to splash out. But the thing about that is, y'all motherfuckers be trying to wrap your legs around. They ain't be trying to let go. She ain't trying to let go. Y'all want me to tell y'all how to get through all of that? I'm going to tell y'all, bro, because a lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying? I've been there, too. I've been there, too. Been with a pretty woman. But as quick as a mother. I've been there, too. But I figured out. I figured out how, I figured out how to get past it. Right? So I can help y'all now, right? You know what I'm saying? I had some experience, and I figured out how to get past it. But, uh, yeah. It's a toy. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Just think of it as a toy, All right? She gonna like you slinging that thing. Like, yup, I shot away slinging that thing. It's a toy. If you think about it as a toy, you gonna start noticing <clears throat> them toys that they got. It ain't gonna compare. Not even close. They ain't gonna have enough veins. They're not gonna be hard enough, and none of that. She gonna want you before she want the toy. Trust me on that. It's not hard enough. It don't have no heartbeat. It ain't got no veins in it. It ain't pumping. <laughs> Trust me on that. It don't grow. It don't go from... It don't... It, it ain't given, right? It really ain't. But the thing is, most y'all men are not up to par. Right? I just got, I'm going to give y'all some of the secrets, man. I'm going to help y'all out. Um, definitely got to do some kegels. I ain't going to lie. You got to do the kegels. You got to do the kegels. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. You got to you want to do some uh, stamina type, cardio type stuff, right? Because you want to have the stamina, right? Right? 
five minutes not long enough. I'm just letting you know right now. If you do five minutes and I get in an hour to two hours, I'm telling you right now, she's going to call me every other weekend. I'm just letting you know. Once a month, we're going to have an appointment in a meeting. I'm just letting you know. That's how that stuff starts to happen. But if you, uh, again, work on yourself, you get fit, you get your stamina right, you're going to be good. You're going to be able to pick her up in the air. You're eating her in the air. I'm talking about we standing up like this. <laughs> she ain't never had that before. Most men ain't doing that. You got to, we already doing the sets where we got to do, uh, you know what I'm saying? We already doing all these biceps and triceps sets at the gym. So now pick her little ass up. Now we doing the sets. Ain't nobody ever did that. Not long. They probably did a couple, three, four strokes. You, 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 you getting sessions in right now. This is going to change the reality. She's never going to find somebody better. I'm going to let you know that right now. She wouldn't even want to. Can't even see. Somebody else talking to her here talking about some. Oh man, I can do you this and I can do better than him. She can't even hear this, man. Cause you want painted so much of a, of, a, of a reality in real life physical form. I showed her so much. Ain't nobody else can compare. And that's what I'm telling y'all. <sighs> Make sure you focus on yourself. Don't focus on another man, right? And then, of course, the woman or the lady that likes you, she going to see you and find you doing your craft. She going to hear the words. She going to hear what she like. And she going to go with it, regardless of what her friends or anybody else might say. It doesn't matter. Right? It's about what she wants. <laughs> All right, let's get through the rest of the video, though. Don't talk to me, baby. It's 5 in the morning right now on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Destiny. Yo, Destiny. Uh-uh. See? And this is why, uh, and for, for my homies out there, this is why we can't be giving them no good good. Because they be acting out, bruh. They get around their friend, they be acting out, bruh. And then they be acting out, bruh. I remember that girl kept trying to give me shots. She like, no, nah, just take a shot. I'm like, you just trying to get me drunk because you know when I get home, I act crazy. She's like, yeah, I like when you, you drink and you smoke. I'm like, bruh. I'm like, nah, I ain't drinking no more. I stopped drinking. I don't even drink no more. Mm -mm. Start talking all crazy. What up, babe? Oh, you looking good. You sexy. Oh, I can't wait to get you home. Oh, look at that dress on you. Oh, so soft. I start talking. I start talking stupid. Like, like you know they like that. So she like, ooh, I want him to drink all the time. I'm like, bro, I'm not drinking nothing. I remember uh, I was, I was, it was like uh, two, three months ago. I was with my homies and they gave me some, uh, they Jamaican and stuff like that. They all island and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Trinidadian and stuff like that. So he gave me some type of drink or whatever. He was like, yo, try this. Because his family like really from there. And I ain't really get to hang around outside my family. So I like to hang around his family just to get the cultures and the vibes, right? <laughs> Good food, all of that foo foo and all that. But um, man, I'm, I'm around them, man. They gave me some drink, and I was drinking it. And he was like, "Man, that's gonna get you right." Man, we went to the park. I'm talking about it was a lady talking about five all the way across the park, and I I had my glasses on. And there's no reason why I don't even wear my glasses most time when I go out because I don't like being distracted by certain things. But I see her, and I'm like, "Yo, that lady right there is fine." And he like, "Bro, I can't see her." I'm like, "Bro." You don't see that big old butt on that lady all the way over there? I'm talking about she was, she was, bro, she was, man, she was at least a whole football field and I still saw her. But this is what I'm saying. This is the reason why I don't drink. Because then I start speaking my mind. I seen her and I could have just been like, oh, cool, she look good. Oh, she got a nice butt. I could have said it in my head. But since I was drinking, I out loud said that. And I was like, oh, damn, I didn't mean to say that. I was like, what am I talking about right now? This It was a spirit inside of me, obviously, right? Tuh. That's why I said I don't drink. Because then I start talking and I start telling secrets to the universe. I, I no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all. <laughs> we're not doing that. Oh yeah, turn me up. Turn me up. I'm trying to put me to the flood. I say that be like. Yeah, yeah, got it. Sound like a girl in that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite combo. Yeah. You can't just smack my ass and not do nothing. As soon as you smack, you gotta do the strokes. Like you gotta be rhythm, and you gotta have rhythm, bro. You gotta have rhythm. Yeah.
they say, do you have a fetish? If so, what is it? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, sometimes breaking the rhythm help though. Cause if I'm finna butt, I gotta break the rhythm. Break it. Like yeah, turn that thing off real quick. Slide around, get a different type of motion going on. Now let's mix up this dish. Yeah. And break it. Okay, that's that's cool. We're gonna put that dish over there. Then let's get some sides in. Let's put that dessert on top of that thing. Yeah. Cherries. <laughs> I like rubbing all um, ears, like I like, like, rubbing all ears. I knew a girl used to do that shit. Yeah. I just didn't like it. She used to do that shit to everybody. I think I got jealous one day. I went over uh, my, my homeboy. That was my homeboy sister. But she she just sit there and rubbing your, your earlobe. I'm like, okay. That shit make niggas hard. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, she was like, okay. And then it was like, yeah, she do that to everybody. I'm like, Okay, but the earlobe, I ain't gonna lie, especially right here, the earrings and stuff. Ain't that like the dirty part? <laughs> it is like one of the dirtiest parts. But that's pretty cool, Destiny. Why do you like doing it? Hmm. I'll be rubbing out everybody's ear. Okay. You gotta give you, you clean your ear vibes. Like, you gotta leave somebody ear when you say your ear waste. Yeah, nah. Mm -mm. I had to think, I was like, nah. Mm -mm. It said, do you prefer being on top of my? First of all, let me, whoever asked that question, I don't like the way you worded it. Right. It just, it didn't give. But, I like to be on top. <laughs> I knew it. I like to ride it like a rodeo. And I'm like, I like to be on top. I like to like look down on you, look in your eyes, and then just be like, and just be talking to you and be like, I love this shit, daddy. All the D-boys know. Do we do? She's like, wake up, you ain't sleep. Well, oh shit, I ain't sleep, but you know. <laughs> I ain't sleep, but you know, and we gonna get through these rounds, trust me. I gotta act like I don't care. She's like, wake up. <sighs> oh, it's my turn? Okay. My turn. Now I get it, yo. Release this beast. I get you, I get it, I get it. It makes sense though. Cause like, I want you to know, baby, you don't gotta do all the work. I'm gonna meet you halfway. I'm gonna meet you halfway. Yeah, we gonna have fun. Right? We gonna have fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> now that we then got me in the hot seat, Sissy finna get in the hot seat now. Now, now I'm about to ask Sissy, we finna get nigga. Oh gosh. Greedy with the girl Cece, cause she, yeah, she got down and dirty with me, but let's see. Oh, let's see. What's your biggest fear? Mm, I don't think I got God, God, that's a good question. That's a good answer. Okay. What? That was a good answer. I'm glad that's the first thing that came to your mind. Most people say anything else. So I'm glad that's the first thing that came to your mind. What's your turn on spots? Like, what's, if somebody touch you somewhere, like, what's gonna turn you up? Mm, um, like my inner thigh, my butt, and my neck. Mm -hmm. Oh, heavy on my, my heavy on the inner thigh, heavy on the inner thigh. We know. Nah, you feel me? We know. That's why we be like, you want a, you want a massage? You want a butt massage? We start going, rubbing, squeezing, uh, and then you start feeling the strength, and uh, you like, ooh. Yup, we know. You know. We know. Hold on, say that one more time. Who egg you know, hanging to the floor? Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> She finna say a name. It was this one boy. That man was born with a slam. Shout out to you, my boy. They don't know it get longer. <laughs> they don't know they can make it longer. Y'all know that, right? 
it stretches. Literally, it's like a slinky. It's like a snake, literally, it stretches. It, but it depends on how bad we feel about life. How bad we feel about the women. It depends on how much love we put into y'all. The more love you put into the women, the more you can contain, the bigger the container will be. The fatter, the more girth you have, everything, the longer. But if you can't contain that much love and energy, it's gonna be pretty short. It's still powerful, right? But it's gonna be pretty short. <laughs> that snake definitely grows. It doesn't matter how old you are. And it could definitely get shorter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can go from 10 down to seven. You can go from 10 to 12 to 15, right? You don't have to use a pump, right? Literally, you can pump her. It's gonna pump. <laughs> it's gonna pump. Trust me. <laughs> that's that's the crazy part. That's how you get all the veins and all that stuff popping up out of time. Just like any other muscle. Just like any other muscle. You pump it up. Uh, 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 uh. She like, oh, I like your muscle. Ooh, I like the veins. Same thing. Same exact thing. And it's gonna get bigger, bigger, bigger. It's gonna swell up. It's gonna get longer. Same thing. Same thing as any other muscle. You stretch it for it to get longer and bigger. It's the same thing. I promise you. <laughs> told y'all I was going to give y'all some. I told y'all I was going to help y'all out a little bit in the video. Do you like it rough? Or you like for a man to be gentle with you in the bed? I like rough, but not too, too rough. Because like, yeah. mm -hmm. I feel like the chemistry, you don't give me no passion. <laughs> okay. Turn me up. I'm trying to put me to the flip. If you had the opportunity to switch genders for a day, would you do it? And what would be the first thing you would do? I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I would. I, I'm like, I feel like I would. And I'm going to just see what some pussy feel like. Cause <laughs> What it feel like? I can tell you what it feel like. You know when uh somebody put their tongue on your clip? That's what that job feel like. But the whole entire thing has a nice sensation. Of course, the front has obviously the head has more sensation, right? You know what I'm saying? It's more stimulant. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's sensitive, right? But again. It's the whole sensation going in and out. Like, it's the soul. It's the whole sensation. The same way if you be like, um, I don't even know if you're supposed to be talking about this on the video. You know, they eat your coochie and you be like, uh, spread your tongue, make it wide, right? And he licked the whole entire thing. That's essentially like the whole entire thing. Like, but. Not only do we feel it down here, like our whole entire body, depending on if you connect it to your body or not, your whole entire body have a full orgasm. Like you, you'll feel it almost like you're getting chills. Like it's like ah. that's why they be like ah. and they be shaking and all that because the whole body is just. Ah. It's like you ever seen a dog outside? It just got wet. It's like. It's just like that. It's like the whole entire body is going through this, this, this uh, expel and point of moment. And the same for y'all women. Same thing. Y'all, y'all whole body start. Your legs be shaking and shit. Be fucking uh, turbulence everywhere. Same thing. It's pretty cool. It's it's a pretty cool thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a cool thing in moderation for sure. Nah, I'm bad. Or, 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 get, or get my dick sucked. Nah. Love that. Like, like, that's just the best thing it's in the world. It's the best thing in the world. It's better than food. I promise you, I ain't got to eat nothing for the rest of life. I'll eat pussy and get my... <laughs> I'll be good. I promise you. Them, them waters, I'll be good. I had went three days like that, but I was like, I feel like I got more energy. Like, fuck the food. I don't want it. I just want to eat some pussy. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't went three days like that, bro. I was like, um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Screw <laughs> it. What you do is. I'm 
the shooter. I feel like I was a god. Um, like, for real. <clears throat> Even though I already feel like that every day. Do I say one time? How you feel about light skinned niggas? Mm. The pretty princesses. <laughs> pretty princesses. <laughs> Not she called y'all pretty princesses. The pretty princesses. Oh my god. So we okay. I love a dark skinned nigga. Like I need somebody darker than me. Okay, okay. I just, that's just my preference. That's just my preference. The pretty princesses. <laughs> we just had a nigga name on you. All across my face. Oh, that's good. Okay. I asked somebody, they told me no. I already knew it was over with. As soon as I asked, I said, tattoo my name when she said, no, I said, all right. I already knew it. I said, this ain't gonna last. I still went through it. Like I told y'all, when you hit them red flags, she didn't even have to tattoo it. I don't give a fuck. You got to actually tattoo it. But reassure me that if I asked you to do it, that you would do it. Oh, she had to say, yeah, I would do that. She didn't have to actually do it. We're not finna do that. I don't want you doing that, dummy. I just wanted to see. She failed the test. You know what I'm saying? When they fail them shit tested, y'all girls be doing a lot. It's like, you already know. This man, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, it's not I given. It's over with. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't like I would, so that's why when people be saying something about Chris Sean is, I don't say nothing. Bro, thanks. Okay. Mm. Out of all the celebrities, who do you think got that thing on them?
But most women not connected with God. So she don't know who talking to me in my head. She don't know who, who in my heart, who in my body, who in my soul, who, who commanding it. But the thing about it is you don't need to know, right? You, you watch the actions, not necessarily the words, because I can talk a lot of shit and I can talk a lot of good stuff, too. But the actions upon the actions that I take. Right. So. For y'all men out there, because that's what Destiny was talking about. Taking actions, right? As long as you're taking action, you got some type of motion. Like I said, I know this uh, this summer, me and my friends, we're going to be on um, one of my homies. He worked for uh, he used to work for Coca-Cola. So we got like a lot of sodas, waters, you know, drinks, you know, what I'm saying juices, all that stuff. We're going to be at the parks this year, um, just giving away to the kids and selling stuff to people, obviously. Right. Um, we gonna have a grill out there. We just got a truck we got a grill out there selling food, you know, giving back. I like to cut grass, wash cars. Um, we got detailed businesses, stuff like that. So when you think about stuff like that, it's like. trying to do something. Man, y'all already know I do music. That's, man, I've been doing that forever. I get passive income from that, man. It's whatever, bro. <laughs> I've been doing that my whole entire life. Literally. Literally. You know what I mean? Since I was in elementary, I started playing a flute. You see what I'm saying? Like, I've been doing this my whole entire life. It's just part of me. Um, we hope. So, in between that, though, like I said, God be talking to me, he'd be like, yo, go outside and uh, play ball today. Why, why you want me to play ball? He like, man, go out there and give him, give him that good energy. He like, you know, I gave you the energy, I gave you life. Get out there and show these kids how to have fun again. Show people how to get out again. Because at one point in time, especially, like I said, here in Atlanta, um, a lot of people got stagnated because uh, everything was shut down. But Throughout that stagnation, they decide a lot of people made that them lot their lives. They stopped going outside. They stopped linking with their normal friends. They stopped going to their normal uh, meetout places and uh, things like that. So I'm just saying this for the men out there, like at least try to have something other than video games, right? Video games is cool, but I always tell like I tell my homies, I I don't like playing video games. I can play it for a second or so, but I don't really like playing it. It take you away from life. I, mean, I don't want to play 2K. I want to go play ball in real life. I don't want to play no Call of Duty. I want to go to shooting. I want to shoot the guns for real. Because that's what's going to help me. I don't, the game ain't... It was, that's doing nothing. You want to go help yourself as a man in real life. I want to hit the gym in real life. So that way when women like this come around, you know what I mean? I'm able to have some type of value for them, right? But a lot of y'all just sitting there playing them video games and when it's time for you to talk to Shawty, you don't even know how to communicate to her because you ain't really never talked to women before. You know what I mean? It's, it's all these different things that's missing compared to, again, we didn't have technology back when I was in, in middle school and stuff like that. We couldn't, some, some families couldn't even afford it. I remember at one point, my mom was against computers. She was like, ain't no computers in the house. Which was cool back then. Like, shit, we had a TV, which we barely watched. We was just outside. It's from the from the sun up to sundown type, you know what I mean? Until they started calling, hey y'all come back in, y'all kids go inside, y'all too. Yeah, you know I mean, you know how the neighbors be, <laughs> stuff like that. But I like those days was those days was oh, you know what I mean? Nowadays everybody's just behind the screens and stuff like that, which is cool because we get to still learn, you know what I mean? We get to we get to also communicate with people through videos like this, um, we can chat. With the show love to people that's um in different places, different uh, uh countries and different cities, we able to still show them love. That's why I do like about the technology. It adds that uh, communication and that fast process, easy access part for that. Um, I just don't like all the all the all the other stuff that be going on, but it's always good in it. So like, I just watched uh, UDY. I was watching them do this little uh, cheating video or whatever. Um, and the girl, she she ain't cheating on Brody. She went to do her photo shoot, right? And um, and she told, she, she felt the vibes that Brody was hitting on her. And she told him, like, nah, man, I got a boyfriend. And, and you know, um, we can do business. But that, that's about it. 
So now because of technology, we're able to show, like how she was saying, that a lot of women online, or just in general, they paint a certain picture. But now we're able to paint the real pictures. We're able to paint the real scenes, the real things that's going on, right? Um, another thing, like uh, stuff like uh, news stuff, right? They wouldn't have those clips if we didn't have the technology, right? You know, you might have a camera that was on a, a building and they caught what happened here. Um, and maybe your family was involved. And I know for, for the people family that's involved, I know they like, thank you that we got the clip. At least we can see some sort of what was going on and how we can at least be, you know, um, in the situation like they can actually look at the situation in detail because when, when you when you hear in a situation and stuff like that you don't have no type of detail you're only seeing messages and things like that but you can't literally see what's going on or you wasn't there it's like right so i'm, I'm just i'm just really really glad that people are actually getting out more like she said when when the spring time come around summertime you know what i mean most of these women gonna be single right but it's going to be a great time for networking. So y'all men out there, please get your communication skills good, right? This whole month, just, just research, man, how to talk to these women, man. Uh, research what, what, what you can do for them. You know what I mean? Like, it's really easy. I ain't going to say too much. I want to tell y'all, but I don't want to tell y'all. If that makes sense. Like, I want to tell y'all because I got all the answers, right? But I don't want to tell y'all because I want y'all to do the research. I want y'all to do the research. But they sitting at home playing the game and shit, and you don't got no She just said what I said. I told you. Told y'all. I had a PS5, I saw that shit so quick. I played that shit for a couple months and then I sold it. <laughs> I was like, nah, this ain't gonna work. I was like, this ain't gonna work. Cause I'm I'm noticing even my phone, like, I might got money coming through, I got people calling, I got business, I got stuff going on, but I'm sitting there playing again. The that that ain't gonna work, bruh. That ain't gonna work. Even with money in the pocket, that still, still don't work. Cause then I want some more. You know what I'm saying? What are your goals for 2024? What's the goal? My goals. Start two row. I'm trying to start two row. Hey! Oh, that's fire! How many cars you got? She's not a two row. That's fire. See? Okay. It's a girl hustler. Oh, two rows, the hardest one. That's how most of them people doing them gold digger pranks and stuff like that. They get the cars, do it through two rows, bomb, 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 run it out to the people. I'm trying to get my uh, clothing business going, hair. Hair one is good. I was thinking that. And my two and travel, period. So, them like the three main like things right now. Because I don't look Okay. Now let me say something really quick. That's all fine and Danny, right? That's cool. But I want to tell you why men sometimes go for younger women, right? And that's because they have not experienced much yet. So now the man can take your hand, take your hand and take you on those experiences. But if y'all go and experience that for yourself, this is what's going to happen. You're going to find a man that either did or didn't experience that stuff, but he wants to. And then once he takes you, you already been. Right. So then it's like, ah, I've been to Disney World 50 times. I don't want to go anymore. You see what I'm saying? Then that's boring. It takes away the whole fun. So don't do too much. You feel me? And again, that's why the normally older men go for the younger women because they haven't experienced much. Now I can change this girl life compared to somebody who's 28, 34 or something. You know what I mean? She already, yeah, she been around the block a lot. She been out the country. She, got, eh, she don't even care going out the country no more. Then now I'm bored because I actually want to go. But she don't want to go because she already did everything. Then we go certain places and remind her of her ex or remind her of this person or that person. Nobody wants that. No man wants that. So again, don't do too much now. Have y'all fun, but don't do too much now. I'm just letting y'all know. That's how the game go. Um, what's the 
Okay. Or just make me believe you ain't never been there before. <laughs> just make me believe you ain't never been there before. <laughs> you got the sexual fantasy that you have. I believe it. I don't care. Like something that you <clears throat> okay would want to do okay when it's raining outside it has to be raining okay and I have like a, a long trench coat on. Uh-huh. <laughs> that sounds fire I love it. <laughs> I want I want I want to be on some role playing shit too yeah. so it's like you see me at the bar Ooh. yeah <laughs> you roll I come outside and roll up I think I want to do skits I'm finna, I think I want to do skits I knew I said it the other day, but I think I really want to do it now. Cause this right here, what she talking about right here, this shit on fire. I'll do some stuff like that. I had um, I'll be walking there, I have a suit on or whatever, or whatever, like she's saying, and it's a girl in there, and like I see her in there, like I I'll do it. I'll do it just just for the just for the entertainment of YouTube. Like I say, it ain't really good videos no more. I'm trying to bring, I'm trying to bring back, you know what I'm saying? I got my trace card on, okay. and then I get in the front and just okay. start doing it. Yeah, or or I can just show up to a man's house with the shit on. Ooh, I like that one too. See, we like that too. Okay, okay, these are some good ideas. I, like I said, I'm about to do these skits, y'all. I like that. I like, I like that. With the sound, like she pulling up, she pulled up, she got the trench coat on, and, it's, and then she like, you don't even know what's under that. And then, y'all, obviously, we can't show all of that, so we're gonna clip the cut. <sighs> and he got me right outside. He's got a trench coat on. Okay, mm-hmm. like the long trench coat with the head, and the lingerie under, and I just show up at a man's house. And we just like, as soon as it's open, we go. Hey, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, no time, no time. <laughs> that happened a couple times, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. If you ain't get no through out, we already did all the talking. Do, do you think that he deserved coochie after? Wait, what? Y'all, no. If the not, like, if not, it's not, a, if not no. Okay, but like I, don't, I don't, it's not a, I don't feel like that's a, you have to. Yeah, yeah like every time, nah. That's a big question. That's weird. Like, so like, yeah, like, niggas be feeling like, oh, if I feel like you out, like, cause no, but like, it, I'm, I go out with vibes, so like, if I get there and you want some weird shit, like, you not, you making me uncomfortable. Yeah. You might, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to fuck me if I'm uncomfortable. And me neither. So it's just like, if you not making me comfortable, you spend all this money, that's your fault. Hello, make me comfortable, make me, make me want for shit. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem they be feeling about that part. They think the money only do it, but it's not just the money. It's definitely the vibe. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's so funny, because she'll leave a, a, a rich man for a broke man. Because mm-hmm. she knows she can get on her own. But she like, man, the vibe is just so much better over here. Less stress. She ain't got no more gray hairs. No more sleepless nights. You know what I'm saying? He actually rubbed her back. He rubbed her feet too. Because he, he a good guy. Right? Compared to the other guy that... Mm, okay. <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't want to fuck and you done flew me out, you did some shit. Yeah. Let's start there. Let's start there. Let's start there. Let's speak in here. Um, <laughs> what? How do you feel about tossing a salad? Hmm? <laughs> what that mean? About? I'm about to say, I don't even really know what that means. I don't like cheese. salads. Nah, I don't like salads. I don't even eat salads. Nah, we not doing that. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, <hell> no. <laughs> nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> nah. Bitch, you gay. Yeah, basically, yeah, nah. I'm not eating no nigga. No, I wouldn't want nobody to. That's nasty. I wouldn't want nobody to. That's nasty. I don't care. Nah, 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 nah. I don't want nobody. I'm not gonna lie. This one nigga. I judge y'all. I, I, I judge y'all for eating dudes' ass because you shit him out. You shit him out. You really sitting there grabbing the cheeks and spreading them with his balls and everything. Oh, yeah. oh, man. I can't believe people started doing that though. I mean, they was already doing it, but I just can't believe that, bro. Like, I don't mean no, bro. No, bro. 
Uh uh-uh. uh. Ain't no way you can tell me nothing. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Right, that's what I'm saying. Right. They be having booty booty crumbs and stuff, man. What? They don't be wiping their booty? No, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's nasty. That's nasty. Women are clean, so it's like, it don't even matter. That's like licking her hand or her finger. It's, they, they clean. Women just be clean. They be so clean at that. But men, no, bro. That, no. That's nasty. And then let alone, they be eating everything. Like, no. You might as well, you might as well eat a pig ass. That's the same damn thing. Basically. First of all, if you're arching your back, you get your ass Right. Like, why is your butt in there? I, I know. <laughs> we didn't even have another conversation. Another shit area. bitch. <laughs> yeah, that too. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, it's like, no. You are gay. At one point, I did shave, but... <sighs> I'm not finna be doing that every every. I'm not doing that. <laughs> like it's just like man, whatever. I was that on this camera. Yeah, but this nigga trying to ask me to do that shit. Yeah. Um, so, are you a spitter <laughs> or a swallower? Oh, uh, I'm actually swallower. You see. in your mouth, huh? <laughs> you got so I was like, how y'all think we feel with y'all? What the fuck? Y'all be coming in my mouth? What the fuck you talking about? You must never have a guy do that. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I don't... I, I, I think I feel... I think I'm the same way. That's good. I ain't gonna lie. I think I rushed straight to the bathroom. I need to brush my teeth. Oh, no. Nah, oh. I be like, oh, no. Nah. All the time I meet eating girls, I'm like, I be like, oh, I gotta brush my teeth. Smell like straight pussy. I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, damn, I got cum on my lip, all on my chin. They be laughing like, you did it. I'm like, oh, man, let me go to the bathroom. I got to wash this shit off. Nah, I know what you mean. I don't just... Heck, nah. It be all... Uh, I need some water. I need a soda. I need a soda after that. Yeah, there's nothing probably. I just keep going. Would you dare to make kids? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, for Destiny personally, men. Well, for me personally, I mean, most men. I'm, I'm gonna speak for me, but I think most men would rather you swallow. And that's because, like I said, I'm celibate. That means I've been holding my kids for months, right? And then you telling me you're gonna spit my shit out? Hell, no. <laughs> you all lost your damn mind. That's like slapping God in his face. These are my kids, my motherfucker. You better incorporate that with your being and, 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 and run with it. And so you can glow all day and glow brighter than bright. You feel me? And that's why they like the guap gun. 3,000, they like the, the women that swallow. I'm telling you right now, man. Nobody want their kids to go to waste. Like, those are those are real, bro. They, they're alive. The sperm cells are alive. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, nobody want their kids going to waste. Are you crazy? That's killing the kid. Man, you ain't killing my kids. I'll tell you that right now. Mm-hmm. You swallow it. Like I said, that's testosterone inside your body. That's going to give you more energy. Might make it a little bit more manly, too. But yeah. <laughs> when he got away, well, I got to see that he was Baby mama. Yeah, that's real. And his, and his mama too, so I just I have to see how he acts with his baby mama because like shit, if I get pregnant, you don't treat me the same way. Uh, bitches, bitches be slow. Mm-hmm. Men don't treat all girls the same way. Now y'all tripping. I'm, I just gotta, like I said, I gotta, I gotta say it. Men don't treat all girls the same way. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. Some people you can't. You can't even be mean to because they're so nice. I promise you. Some people, man, hey, we don't treat everybody the same way. 
We treat people how we treat them. That's it. We treat people how we treat them. That's it. So the way somebody treat her is going to be different from how they treat you. Right? Regardless if both of y'all the baby mama, they both, y'all both going to be treated differently. I promise you, we never treat people the same way. We can't. It's innate. It's hard to do. You can't. As a human, you can't. If I'm around some children, I'm around my moms, my dad, if I'm around my, my grandmother, if I'm around my friends, if I'm around a girl, we treat everybody differently. There is no way in the world I can treat all y'all the same. There is no way in the world. I can't even, that's, that's impossible. I damn sure ain't giving my homies the same love I'm giving my girl. Right? We can't, we can't, it's impossible. So, and then if I have a baby mama, right? And I got a girlfriend, you don't know what that baby mama did to me. You feel me? To why I treat her, how I treat her, whatever the case may be, right? You don't know what she did in her past or, or whatever the case may be. Because sometimes God puts you in people's life for you to treat them a certain way on purpose, right? Because that's what, that's what changes people. Sometimes you are the person who has to give them that hard reality. Sometimes. It just is what it is, right? Everybody can't be nice. Don't mean that the the next girl she's supposed to be the girlfriend. She ain't, she ain't supposed to be thinking about being the baby mama. Obviously, you're not you supposed to be marrying the guy, being with the guy. But it don't it sound like right. But again, you probably wasn't even there the same amount of time. The situation is one the same. The emotions ain't never gonna be the same. So he's not gonna treat you the same way you treat that person. But now, if both relationships ended off on bad terms, then. Eh, Y'all might get some of the same treatment, but it ain't going to be the same. Trust me on that. He's going to be texting one of y'all a little bit more. One of y'all might get a little bit more money. It ain't never going to be the same. We ain't robots. It's not going to be the same. Right? We can make it that way. But then if we make it that way, it's really going to be manipulation. That's really manipulation. That's really like manipulating the system. This girlfriend right here, baby number one, sent her 100000 Baby, number number two, send her a hundred thousand. This is manipulation at this point. Number three, send her a hundred thousand. I'm good with them. Oh, yeah, here's my wife right here. Let's go ahead and go on this trip. That's manipulation right there. I could put that on. We put that on automatic schedule with Chase. They're going to send that every month. All right, we good. They good. We ain't got to worry about no child support, good, everything. That's, manip that's called manipulation. That's treating all the women the same way. But again, if I'm having literally conversations with these women, they're going through different things in life. One need help with this bill. One need help with this bill. Another one need this, that, boom, boom, third. Uh, this baby need diapers. This baby need uh, this and that. This one over here, uh, she just got a school, so she need this and that and third, some clothes. It's going to be different numbers. I can't treat all the women the same way. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. Let alone this chick right here, she a cancer, so she be all in her emotions. This one right here, she a Aries. She don't even care about emotions. She just fiery as fuck. She just want to argue, but she like arguing, so it's cool. This one right here, she all to herself. She a Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Libra scale, man. She, You know what I'm saying? She, she smart, man. You know, she about her business. I can't treat all the women the same way. Each of them get a different treatment. Everybody gets a deep, different treatment. It don't matter if it's 10 baddies in, in one room. All of them get a different treatment. All of them, I can't just go up to every one of them and give them the same treatment. Each of them get a different treatment. It just is what it is. Like I said, we not robots. Not yet, at least. Do you feel like five bitches get better treatment than the main bitches? If so, oh. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like certain situations, yeah. <laughs> I be feeling like me. Yeah, side bitches be new. Main bitch be, she been here for a little minute, so. But that's, that's, that's the problem. They got a side bitch. So now they, they taking the energy that they're supposed to get to the main girl. Even though, yeah, we go to the park all the time, we still gonna, we still gonna go to the park, man. We still gonna have some fun. Instead, they gonna find a side chick to go take out. And that's now y'all like, man, why she get to have fun? Why she get to go out and, and go on these adventures with you and y'all going shopping and whatever? 
make sure that's what I'm saying. Y'all men out there, make sure if you got a girl, you source your energy fully into her, fully invest, fully, everything, fully. You know what I mean? Fully. When y'all go half in, you trying to put energy here, you trying to put energy here, you trying to put energy here. Eventually, you're going to have some complications because she's going to feel that. She's going to be like, yeah, man, you only give me one thirty or so. I need the whole thing. I'm giving you all of me. All right? The whole thing. Ain't nobody. Man, I get a pizza. Uh, not a pizza. I'm a, uh, we can say pizza. No, nah, we can't say pizza. I got to say, um, um, let's see, let me see what, man, we want the whole thing, man. I want the whole million. I don't, I don't want half. I don't want no one third. I don't want 300, 300,000. I don't want half. I don't want 500. I want the whole million. You know, the whole thing. Amen, hey, baby mama. So it's just like they be trying to go find something else. So it's like you already trying to find something else, so you gonna do more to keep their ass. Yeah. Like you gonna buy them shit, take them on, line them, you know, line down their ass. You ain't gonna be talking about no kids with their ass. Like you yeah. just gonna be living life. So right. I feel like you. Yeah. So I just ain't gonna lie. They kind of they win in in a way. But like when important, but like when important shit come up, it's like the main is gonna be the cause you yeah. mm -hmm. facts. So it's a it's whatever you gonna do. Okay. <clears throat> How long do you think it's too long before you meet a new family and parents? Like, what do you like? What would you say would be a good timing to meet a new parent? Like, I don't even mess with them. Probably after six months. Like, six. six months. Six months. Six months. Man, if I can't show you to my mom in the first week, I'm not talking to you. If I feel the vibes are off or I feel like or you acting scary or some some bullshit like that, I'm not talking to you. Cause I already know. My mom gonna tell me. She gonna be like, nah, I don't like her. <laughs> or she go, she ain't even gonna say hi to you. Like she gonna give a, a weird vibe. And if she give a weird vibe, I know the vibes off. I'm already knowing. Cause she can tell before I can tell. Most of the time. She start looking all weird and she like, mm mm. Or she ain't really paying no attention or she ain't giving me that good energy. She's like, hey, how are you doing? Not even a hug or nothing? Oh, nah. That's why I need to know that up front because she gonna let me know. Just offer the vibes. Because she lived life way longer than me. So she can tell when somebody fake, when somebody ain't here for, for me for real, for real. You know what I mean? You can all, mothers can always tell, right? Shit. <laughs> Shit. That's where a lot of men mess up too. Not saying you gotta bring everybody around your, your moms and stuff like that, but what I'm saying is if you feel like you can't bring them around your moms, most likely you probably don't need to be with that chick. Most likely that probably ain't the person for you. I'm saying that right now. Cause that's weird. And then when you do bring it around, then what? Now you got all these complications and problems. Now you gotta explain this and that and this and the third and none of that. Man, anyway, don't want that. Yeah, I feel like that's a good But if it's like But yeah, girls are different, cause they yeah, because they date a lot more, so I get that. But for us men, we ain't dating like that. We better not be, right? We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, giving, we ain't giving to the whole community, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, sometimes that be happening, and then it's like, yo, you want to spend Valentine's together? Or whatever the case may be, and it's like, it's like, you know what I mean? Or Christmas, yo, my parents, they're having this Thanksgiving dinner. It's like, it's like now you gotta come. We just met yesterday, but you wanna come to the Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> it's like, but it's like that's gonna tell us the vibes. You know what I mean? That's gonna tell us the vibes. Like, do you? Because if you say no, you don't wanna come. It's like, hold up, now. So you not trying to spend Thanksgiving with me? It's like it's, it's gonna tell us what's going on. Oh, you got family stuff going on. All right, that's cool. That's understandable. But she be like, nah, I think it's too soon. I just, you know, I just stay home and just, uh, you know, yeah, that's okay. We can we can hang out tomorrow, the next day. Well, hold up now. So it's a day my family here is full, it's good vibes, and you want to just stay home? Man, I'd be like, man, nah, this, this girl born. I'd be like, she ain't trying to meet my family. She born. She really ain't trying to be involved. No, nah, I'm good. It ain't given. A girl that really involved, she gonna, even if, even if she didn't want to go, she gonna think personally like, you know, uh, maybe I can show up. Maybe I can help. Um, and, support my guy his family or or just in general he want me to go so i'm gonna go you know i might not stay late or I might not stay long let me let him know i ain't gonna stay long i'll come for like 30 minutes i'll come for five minutes i i wouldn't even mind stop by say hi and leave it ain't gotta be for long at all again it's the intentions that matter bro i promise you bro 
That's a sticky situation. That's a very sticky yeah. situation. Yeah. So, so, mom, when you start dating him two months before Christmas, yeah, and oh, no. like you just head over heels for this dude, and he like, oh. So well. then at that time, I'm probably like, yeah, why he take me off? Yeah, like, but if it was like if we was in summertime or some shit. He ain't gonna be too much care about me. Care about family, yeah. Nah. But by the time you know Christmas and Thanksgiving, all that shit come around, it's like, damn, where the moment? Facts. Nah, facts. Yeah, I asked somebody that too. I'm like, damn, I'm trying to meet you, meet your parents. I'm trying to actually meet them in person. I seen them on Facetime, but I'm like, I'm trying to meet them in person. They like, nah, yeah, nah, nah. I'm like, I can't come to your family's house and meet your family. I was like, yeah, this shit ain't gonna work. That's what I'm saying. We be knowing, bro. We be knowing, bro. It's just like, what? Don't that sound weird? It sound like they, they might have a whole nother family type shit. I can't I can't meet your family. They might have a whole nother family. <laughs> Especially y'all women. I know I know y'all know what that means. Nah, you can't come to the house. We always at the hotel. Why? Why well, can't you never come to the house? That's some weird stuff, right? We grown. We're a family. We're a daddy. Who you talking about? Me? Some of them a lot to you too. Y'all women gotta watch out because some of them a lot be like, man, I ain't got no mom and dad. They dog. They'll lie to y'all literally. And I know some of y'all women know what I'm talking about. Which is which is sad, bro. And then, then all of a sudden you'll find out that was, there goes his mom right there. You I thought you said. And then then you meet her and she's sweet. And she the coolest person ever. And you want, and then you be like, it's it's him. <laughs> it's him. Mm-hmm. Cause sometimes us as men, we do be stuck in our ways. I ain't gonna lie, we be stuck in our ways and we don't we don't always see our faults. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I keep it real. I always keep it real. Sometimes we don't see our faults. I do. <laughs> as soon as I blurt that shit, I'm like, oh, damn, that was me. You know what I mean? I, I, I gotta see. I'm a water sign. I, I have to see the reflection, literally. It's a whole reflection. If I don't see it even coming out of myself, I see it in somebody else. I'm like, damn, I, did, I used to do stuff like that too. I hear somebody lie, but like, man, I used to lie about stuff like that too. See what I'm saying? It's just a reflection. <laughs> Be around the homeboys. I don't care. Yeah, you don't need to be around the homies anyway. We, we about to dip. We not gonna be around the homies too long. They be like, man, you always leaving with that girl shit. What the fuck you mean? What you think? You see how she look? We gone, nigga. I'm not finna be around y'all niggas, nigga. We gone. I'm finna find, hey, we gonna find a tree house. We gonna find something. We gonna, hey, we gonna find something to do. You heard me what I said? We gonna find a, hey, hey, we gonna, hey, where y'all at? We up the mountain. <laughs> We gonna find something to do. Trust me on that, and it ain't gonna be with y'all. They be like, man, I ain't seen you in about three or four years. You, you damn right. That's how that be happening. Some of y'all boys, y'all know about that. You ain't seen your homie about three or four years. As soon as they got a girlfriend, you know what's going on. He taking her everywhere, having adventures and all. You know what's going on. That be the fun times too. I ain't gonna lie, that be the fun times. Mm hmm. Uh. <laughs> the homeboy's gonna green light any bitch that comes around this motherfucker. No, no, no. That's a lie. That's a lie. I don't brought a lot of pretty women around my homies and my homies will let me know if they like people or they don't. They be like, hey bro, I don't like her. I don't think you should talk to her. My homies let me know. Trust me, that's what I'm saying. My homies real, I don't know about everybody else in the world. My homies real, they'll let me know like, normally. They be like, yo, I don't like her. They don't just, oh yeah, she cool, da da da, just for people to be around. They be like, I don't like her, I don't like her vibes. Or they be like, oh, she don't talk enough. Or they be like, man, she, she born. Like, you don't need to bring her, invite invite somebody else. You know what I mean? Like, so my my homies don't green like everybody at all. Or they be like, oh, she stank. Like, we'll call it out. We real, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We like, oh, she smoke up all the weed. We don't need her over no more. She be doing too much. But when she gets drunk, she be she be throwing up in my she threw up in my back seat. Oh yeah, we ain't go out with that girl no more neither. And then she lied about some stuff that we ain't gonna talk about. But yeah, see what I'm saying? Nah, we don't bring like everybody at all, not at all. Man, 
ask me about it. Like, no. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna ask me When's the last time you had sex? Dang, that's crazy. Y'all gotta make sure y'all don't read books by its cover. You gotta actually open up the book. <laughs> make sure you open up the book. <laughs> make sure you open up the book, bruh. Because there is a lot of YouTubers that's messy, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now, because me personally, I do reaction videos. It's just reaction videos. See, women, um, y'all get emotional about stuff. And y'all remember things. Us, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. I promise you, we don't care. So, we, we could watch a video and say anything and everything, and we won't care. Like, we won't care at all. Um, and then the thing is, the people on the outside, the people on the outside, they would, they would, it would seem as if we care, right? But I'm saying you can't, you can never read a book box cover. You can never, never do that. Never do that. Trust me on that. <laughs> Somebody can be with you 60 years acting like they care and they don't care for you. Trust me on that. It is, in this world, it is pretty strange. Um, another thing, cause I noticed I had started doing it. <sighs> YouTube runs off of drama. It most of the stuff is drama, All right? So again, don't ever judge books by its cover, right? Sometimes people are just doing what they have to do to make their money or whatever the case may be. They fans said this is what they wanted to see. Cause I, I know what they're saying because there, there's a lot of YouTubers that mess with a lot of people or, you know, that do this and do that or be in a lot of altercations where they be going back and forth on the internet and stuff uh, where to where it hit another social media. Then you got all this shade team on page. I know, I know, I, I feel what they're talking about. But that's not everybody, right? Because there's so many, there's millions of content creators and creators out here, right? So you can't just like, that's like, that's, that's like, it's, it's a weird thing y'all saying right now. That's like when girls be like, oh, I wouldn't date a basketball player, an athlete. But there has to be one guy that actually does things right. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, it's a broad statement. We're all human. We all make mistakes. So it doesn't matter what category the person is in anyway. You know what I mean? It don't matter if he a nine to five person, he do YouTube, or he an athlete. It doesn't matter what he do. Or he, he entrepreneur, he got his own business. It don't matter what he do, right? It doesn't matter. Literally, they're all, in each category, there always can be anything and everything. The only thing about the tube is everything is recorded on video, so you're able to see it. But I'm pretty sure in the athlete's life, he got a lot of drama going on, I'm pretty sure, right? I'm pretty sure in that rapper or the artist's life, he got some stuff going on because nothing is perfect. It, it don't be sunny every day. Sometimes it's rainy days, right? It only take a strong woman to understand that, though. So, so make sure y'all check yourselves too. Every YouTuber can't be bad, bro. That just sounds dumb. It wouldn't even be a queen and Clarence, right? Clarence is a YouTuber, but he only talked to Queen. Who else did he talk to, right? But it's like, who are you watching? Now, if you're watching the dumbasses, the ones that's making those mistakes, then that's all you see, then that's all you know. Like Gold Juice, Olivia, and, and Will. Who else Will talk to? They do drama all day. All their videos is about drama, right? It's all fun and games, right? So again, y'all making broad statements, but not really doing the research. And this is why men say, we don't like stupid women. Because y'all not doing the research, y'all just talking. Because that's a broad statement. That's like when people say, oh, I don't like Christians. Oh, I don't like church people. That's a broad fucking statement. And y'all need to stop that. 
That's disrespectful to me because I'm a YouTuber, right? So that's disrespectful. Even to y'all, when, when the men be like, oh, man, I wouldn't date a YouTube girl, man, they be, they messy. That's disrespectful. And even if someone's content was messy, it can change. Everything doesn't have to stay the same. Allow people to make mistakes. Allow people to live life. Stop trying to control people's lives. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's why they say unconditional love. This is not unconditional love. Not at all. Come on, bro. Y'all better than that. Both of y'all better than that. I don't ever want to hear that again, bro. I don't like hearing stuff like that. And it's not just YouTubers. It's just in general. When people say, oh, I, like I'm black. So that's like me saying, oh, I don't talk to white girls. What? That just sounds stupid. They're human too. It's just like, that. that's not my preference. I'm not going to chase no white girl, nothing like that, right? But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't care, right? But I'm not going to just make broad, don't make broad statements like that, y'all. Because then what happens is you end up shooting yourself in the foot. <laughs> she end up dating one and it's like, I thought you don't date YouTubers. Oh, well, he's a little different. Of course he is. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Duh. And same for her. Like I said, normally, and that's the crazy thing about it, normally as humans, anytime I said I wasn't going to do something, I always did it. And that's why y'all be like, man, niggas be lying. It's not that we, we, we be lying. That's just the reality is weird. We'll literally be like, yo, I'm not going to do that. And then literally we do it. Anytime you ever told somebody you weren't going to do something, did you do it? And that just goes for all of us. Think about it for a second. Anytime you told somebody, I'm going to do this, this, and that, and the third, confirming it, saying, yo, I'm going to do this, this, and that, most likely reality said, no, you're not. You ain't finna, nope. It'll change up a little bit, right? But if you go back and say, nah, I'm not going to do that, then you end up doing it. Y'all get what I'm saying? It's almost like the world is like either flipped over or backwards, or I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. I can't explain it at all. So it's the same with the GOATs. They be like, nah, I'm not the best basketball player ever, even though they are, right? All of them did it. They be like, nah, I really can't shoot that good, but I'm still practicing. They always downplayed themselves, even though in, in real life, hind sense, looking at them, they was always the best. That's how weird reality, but anybody who going around saying, oh, I'm the best, I'm the da-da-da-da-da, they end up not being. It was the ego was too high. They wasn't humble enough, Right? But when you humble saying, you know what, I, I can shoot good, but I can't, sh I, I ain't that good of a shooter. That's when God helps you out and leads you the further way to see the light and see the rest of the, the journey. But when you saying, I'm the best shooter that will ever be, and nah, da 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 he like, okay, you at the pinnacle then. You ain't got nothing else to do then. We might as well go ahead and bring you back to heaven. So you never want to be the best. You want to be working toward it, right? We're working toward being the best that we can be, right? But we're never the best. I'm pretty sure even if I'm lifting 200, I can go to 250. I can go to 275. I can go to 300. So I'm, I'm not at my best if I can still keep going. Come on, bro. But again, like, so when it comes to the two, I'm saying like there's, there's, there's a lot of drama. There's this entertainment. Most of on the tube doesn't hit unless you put like a a certain type of title, like how you got it all and capitalizations and things like you got an emoji on it. You got, you know what I mean? That's all part of the, the uh, you know, to, to get the numbers right, to make sure it shows up. It's all part of that. You got to put a certain type of clip art or whatever on there just to make sure people going to click it, that it's interactive. That's, that's part of the business. So don't go looking at the business and then judge the business off of the person or judge the person off of the business. Don't do that. That's like watching a movie, you've seen an actor uh, 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 Samuel Jackson and you thinking Samuel Jackson just acts like this in real life he doesn't he's acting it's the same thing it's all entertainment so I'm saying don't be an airhead please <laughs> don't be an airhead but if your intuition is telling you that these people are toxic and that's what they do in real life then of course by all means follow your intuition 
for sure. News. <laughs> really impressive. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Okay, my girl. February 27th. Yeah. I got cracked in a minute. I'm going to let me eat cracked in a minute. Cracked. <laughs> nah, her. You said, but I was like, it's some chicks out here, Destiny. You offer them a bag of chips, they sucking. You get them a 40 ball. Y'all ain't you heard about that hot 40? You ain't getting a 40 ball, 50 ball, 100. It's, it's, you, you said 300. You just like, I'm cool. It's some men out here, Destiny. You get them 300, they'll do it. <laughs> you hear me? It's some men out here, you get them 300, they'll do it. So even if she wouldn't do it, somebody else would. I promise you, they'll do it like I told you. Honey, fifty dollars. It's a real world. Um, but the thing about it is, all this stuff has already been happening, right? It ain't nothing new. I'm pretty sure back when Jesus was alive, it was men and women doing the same thing, right? So it, it ain't nothing new. It ain't nothing new, man. It ain't nothing new. But that's a good question. Would you? Let's see what she <laughs> said. What she said? No. Um, oh, you just like, I'm cool. I'm looking at it. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, this is going to be ugly. This is going to be ugly. I got to look at it first. <laughs> Make sure you got no bumps on it. And uh, yeah, I got you. I feel her on that. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now it's saying too. I gotta look at it. I can't just be eating anything. I need to look at it first. She's talking about it. I need to see it. She gonna put the covers up. Tell me, so don't pull the covers off. Nah, I need to see it. Turn this light on. I need to see it. Don't turn the light on. I need to see it. I gotta make sure it gotta be pretty and pink. <laughs> well, I got to see it. Yeah, like. I wanna look at it, queen. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Shit. I need to look at it. I want some tips and hope. No, for real. I want to just say it with a condom. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to say it with a condom. And I don't even believe in it. And he got to give me the money first. Yeah. Always give the money first. Yeah, always give the money first. Why not? That that turned her up. I promise you, that turned her up. You get her the money first, so she walks through. Here, here go your... Here go 300. Here go 100. Here go 1,000. Whatever, whatever. 10,000, 100,000, whatever. You get the money first. She like... Huh? Her shit. Ding. Cash out. You like, but you got that? Ding. Ooh, she like, ooh, you ready? She like, ooh, my God. She like, ooh. That's that big energy right there. Mm-hmm. Always get the money first. Don't be playing them type of games, man. It's not even, don't do that, bro. Because then next time, she she gonna, she gonna be like, send it, send it. I ain't coming until you send it. Like, she gonna start playing games, but you don't play them type of games. Always go ahead and send that. Send the money for sure. If any transaction, if you ain't no money, yeah. Cause any transaction. Like, and when I do promo stuff, I always ask for the money first. I have him always. Can you post it first, and then I'm not. No. Look, somebody tried to do a bank jug on me, right? He was trying to get my Bank America card. He was like, "Man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cash out ten bands. He, he gonna put he put the check in there. He gonna cash out ten bands, right?" I was like, I'm already knowing you have it right now. So go ahead and give me my cut now and you can go ahead and take the card and do what you gotta do. So this nigga gets scared. He like, nah, bro, you gonna call in or you gonna you gonna cut the card before I get there. I'm like, no, nigga. I don't have to do any of that. Just pay me my money, do what you gotta do, and then tomorrow I'll call the bank and let them know that I didn't do it, obviously, because you doing it. Right? That's how I work. I know how I work. This motherfucker was like, nah, bro. I'm like, I'm like, if I don't get my money up front, I don't want to do it. He's like, why do you want your money up front? I was like, because I don't want to have to come find your ass. I don't want you to block my number. I have to come look for your ass. You be, you be out going and using my card on other shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. That's why. You see what I'm saying? I know how the game work. That's why. He's like, man, my, my artist, 
I ain't gonna say the artist's name. He's like, my artist, he don't never do nothing unless he get paid first. I said, exactly. I'm an artist, producer, and engineer. I'm not doing shit unless you pay me the money first. I don't, I don't produce or engineer nothing until I get that bread in my hand. I'm not even turning the computer on. Stupid. I said, exactly. I'm a boss. You gonna pay me first before I do anything. I don't know what's wrong with people. You ain't doing nothing. Right. All of it. Because if it's half, I'm gonna do half. Um. <laughs> you feel me? If you have to be stuck with the last person that you had sex with for the rest of your life, would you be happy or no? Oh shit! I ain't had sex in two two years. What? I think it was two years. Oh wait, I did hit that girl in that car. <laughs> I was in the rental. All right, it was, it was a year ago. I was in the rental. Heck yeah, she was fun too. I just I was trying to trying to do. I was trying. I had some uh. Some some dreams and stuff that I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, in the car. And it was like, you know, I ain't never got the whatever, whatever. And I was like, you know what? It's a perfect opportunity. <laughs> and I had fun. That was a year ago, though. That was pretty cool. Okay. Person that you had sex with for the rest of your life, would you be happy or no? Oh, you saying ha happy? Oh, yeah. I'd be happy with anybody for real. Because I make myself happy, so... And I don't date, I don't, I don't, I don't do stuff with people I have problems with. They're not getting none of this. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> um, probably some days. No. Yeah, yeah, some days, right? <laughs> okay, okay, I feel you on that. Because some days, you know, they, they do be having their little attitude or their little, uh-uh. Or it's like, uh, this big-headed boy. But it's like, okay, this one, this one I'm in. I got you on that, okay. <laughs> I won't be happy every day. Me and him, like it's no other shit going on. Like you got, like you literally cannot be with nobody. Okay, so this has to be me. Okay, yeah. And then I say, I say yes. If it ain't no weird shit going on, like behind the scenes, you know. I wanted to say yes, but the chick got, she got, she got a, the chick got a kid. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to say yes too, but the chick got a kid, and I, I feel some type of way about that. Y'all yeah, know how y'all women be like, man? I don't want no man with no kids. Uh, I be feeling some type of way about that sometimes. Um. That ain't got nothing to do with them, right? But I be feeling like, man, if you got a kid, you need to make it work with your baby daddy. <laughs> That's how I be feeling, bruh. Because first of all, I don't even want to be at your house and this nigga pull up. I'm going to have a problem, bro. Me, I'm black. I have I have those type of issues and problems, bro. I'm going to have I'm gonna have an issue. Even if I say I don't have an issue, I have an issue. I don't want this nigga around you. I don't even want him pulling up. That's his kid. I don't give a fuck. He should have did right by you so he could be around his kid. I'm going to end up trying to get you out the country and take you somewhere else where he can't even find you <laughs> or the kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't even, it's like, I don't want to be in that type of predicament. I'd rather, um, nowadays, I ain't going to lie, um, whatever happens, happens, but I'd rather date a chick that doesn't have any kids, right? Because then we could, we could do that together. So that way I can, I can be with her when she go through those cramps and all that other bullshit that she's been through, right? Compared to someone else, that already all been through it with somebody and this and that and the third and da, 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 da. I just like the new adventures, new adventures and things like that. I don't know. I'm an adventurous type of guy, so I like new stuff, right? I don't want to be with somebody that already all been through everything, so now she's born and dull because her, her, her baby daddy on, on, on burnt her out type. You know what I mean? He on did so much to her that she don't even, she can't even stand it. Like, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't really like chicks like that. I like chicks who, who like being around, man, and like having fun. And like, you know what I mean? Can really turn up and have fun, man. <sighs> oh, yo. Yeah, that nigga's pretty crazy. Question. <laughs> if you was out to eat and you seen the dude that you like on a date with another girl in the table right in front of you, what would you do? And be for real with your answer. What would you do? <laughs> 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 what? Oh my God, I feel so bad. If we know it's you, though, you feel me? 
she can be like, oh, I'm like, oh, shoot somebody, shoot. Who the, who you think that was? Man, that, man, that probably my baby mom. <laughs> she can be like, man, I don't want to be part of this. She can be like, she can be like, am I going to be okay? Like, yeah, you know the man, man. You gonna be good, bro. She, she, man, she just playing, man. She wasn't gonna shoot you. She just shooting around your legs, man. Just around you, man. She was just playing, man. <laughs> Don't say some dumb shit like that. Uh, I feel her on that. I feel y'all on that, man. That's too funny. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all saying on a little date, right? As soon as we watch a 20v1 or something like that and we see the girl we like, we like, oh, nah. And especially if she, if she feeling the guy that's on a 20v1 or something like that, we like, nah. If we see if we see she on a any type of video, any type of video, I'm telling you right, any type of video, we probably like nah, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find somebody else because uh, I see she get around a little bit, and I'm I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I, I can I can find somebody else who ain't on the internet. You know what I mean? So it's the same way how y'all feeling about it. The same way how in this video how y'all was talking about how y'all how wouldn't talk about it. It's the same thing, right? Except when you find somebody that ain't in everybody's face. So when you find somebody who's not in everybody's face but still does the business, oh, Jay Z and Beyonce, you still do the business but you're not in everybody's face. Oh my God, you feel me? As a man, you're not worried about being in everybody's face. You just worry about being in the faces of the people who got money. <laughs> Cause that's what's gonna help you and your family and business, right? For the woman, they can be in everybody's face, right? Social butterflies, you know what I'm saying? Let them do that. That's them. That's totally fine, right? For us men, we sit back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we let them do that. That's if you was dating a content creator. That's what I would do personally. I'm not trying to, uh-uh, uh-uh. I ain't trying to compete with that chick. I let her be the superstar YouTuber. That's totally fine. I could stop doing YouTube. I delete all the channels. You feel me? I went. I wouldn't even. You feel me? I'm just letting y'all know right now. Like, as as men, we're not so attached to things. So again, y'all can talk to YouTubers. Just talk to them. Like communicate. I'm pretty sure if you talk to the man and you tell him about his content or things that you do and don't like, whatever the case may be, we can always find the middle grounds. So make sure y'all always keep that in mind. Always keep that in mind. That's funny though. <laughs> you ain't gonna see nobody out on no date, especially not no. Hey, you ain't gonna take nigga on no date. We ain't even finna sit down there on a date. You ain't finna catch me out there. You know, lost your mind. <laughs> Probably in the car. <laughs> she said, "Why we ain't sitting in the restaurant? We took, we did take out and we sit in the car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah." Nah, <laughs> nigga sitting out there drinking coffee and, and at Starbucks and, and eating donuts and y'all pull up like, nigga, I thought you said you was going with your friends. He's like, this is my friend. <laughs> nah, I'll be straight up. I'll be like, yeah, I'm going with my home girl. I say straight up and I say her name. Uh, who you want? Oh, yeah, this her name. Then where she from? You want to come? That Me? I'm a, I'm a type of person like that. I'm like, you trying to come with us? If, if you don't want to come, you busy, you got your own videos or whatever you got to do, cool. But that's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't do that cheating shit. I just be like, you want to come with us? And then if the girl like me, I'm going to let you know. I'm like, yo, Shardy like me. <laughs> she was touching on my arm. and I'm going to let you know. You know what I mean? I, I'll be straight up. Because I, I ain't got no time for somebody to send you messages on the floor, on the scoop. I'm asleep. And now you slapping me, talking about some who this chick talking about uh, you went out to date with her. Man, I ain't got no time for that. So I'm going to let you know. I'm gonna let you know everything that happened. Fuck that. I, hey, open book. I'm. You gonna know. And the thing about it is, when you this open, they don't even believe it. They don't even believe it. But they can't say you didn't tell them. That's why I, I always get by. Always get by. Why? Because I tell the truth. Can't help it. It be on my heart and on my mind. But I mean, I did go out on a date with that girl earlier, and then she she gonna be like, "What's wrong? Why you ain't talking?" Cause you in your head right now, so you're thinking about what you did earlier, whatever the case may be, or you think about what you want to do later or this weekend, whatever the case may be. Like, yo, babe, man, this chick asked me out on a date. Like, you know what I'm saying? Have them conversations with her. Same way, so she can talk to you. She's like, man, this guy keep DMing me, and then y'all can have those decisions together, man. Block him, or let me see who who DM you, or whatever the case may be. But don't, you know, you feel me? 
Like, y'all can actually talk about it. Y'all can laugh about it. Like, man, why does man think he gonna get you knowing you mine? Like, you see what I'm saying? Just tell the truth. Bitch, don't play. The truth shall set you. You free. Wise man and Jesus said that. The truth shall set you free. It don't never no nigga. Never, ever. Never, ever. <laughs> never, ever. It's a principle. It's a principle. And it's about respect. All right. So that's for the night. Yeah. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be too funny. You sit right there. Yeah, all right, she walk up. All right, she walk. You go. <laughs> the devil in the flesh. Oh shit, destiny. Not not the devil, destiny. That's not what I meant. <laughs> but when when you see him with her, <laughs> he gonna think he's here to That's what I'm saying. <laughs> all right. It's like, yo, forgive me. <laughs> Okay. She funny. Um, what's an acceptable? Oh yeah, yeah. This is the same person, man. Anything I said in that video, man. Take it with a grain of salt, man. I don't know nothing, man. You feel me? And uh, that's what I'm saying, man. Don't take nothing I said in the video too serious, bro. It's just all entertainment, bro. It's to you, like. It's I only did this video because Destiny told me to watch. Hey, you've been talking to this dude. What's an acceptable gift that you feel like somebody can give you, and you're like, okay. Today my birthday, and what I did was I made sure that I didn't remind people that it was coming up because that's what we do sometimes. We'll remind people, oh yeah, man, my birthday this weekend, bro. They be like, oh, what you doing for? You know what I mean? But now they remember, oh yeah, his birthday this weekend. Fucking bots. Oh yeah, his birthday this weekend. Let me make sure I tell him happy birthday. Now, if I didn't tell you prior this week or this year, they may have forgotten, right? And that's totally fine if you forgot about my birthday. That's t totally fine. Totally fine. I just know. Eh, I might even diss myself a little bit. I just made sure that I did not remind people. Because sometimes, like I said, we would do that. We remind our friends, thinking that they friends, and they may not even be your friend. You know what I mean? Now they coming in saying happy birthday. You like, man, my friends, my family, they always show me love. And you thinking these people really with you, but not knowing that you, you the one who gave them the information. You know how you put on your profile your birthday or like on Twitter, like right now on Twitter, it got the the, uh, the balloons popping up on mine, right? So now people know it's my birthday, but I'm saying if that wasn't there, who knows, right? That's the people that's real. That's what I'm saying. Those are the real people. The people that actually took the time. I was like, yo, when is your birthday? What's your, what's your sign? They actually really want to get to know you. What's your favorite color? They really wanted to actually genuine get to know you. Those are the people that we want. Right? But y'all gonna show y'all my um don't alright, whatever. I'm about to say don't follow me on Twitter, but whatever. <laughs> they said why? Cause man. Y'all be doing too much. Y'all see the balloons and stuff? So it's really my birthday. I ain't playing. Today's March the second. Yeah, they like, what's his Twitter? I ain't telling y'all. Y'all ain't gonna find it. Y'all might find it. No, y'all can't find that one. I got a, I got 10 of them, so y'all ain't gonna find that one. <laughs> Real hustler. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna find that one. Matter of fact, if you find it, man, I'm gonna cash up you. I ain't gonna lie. If you find it, DM me, I'm gonna cash up you. I wanna see. Like, just acknowledge me. Like, make me feel so special on my birthday. Right. I'm gonna love you forever. <laughs> so, there y'all have it. Y'all got to be in our business for a cool up 
Oh, y'all definitely with 30 minutes. My shit with two hours. See y'all in the next one, man. Sheesh. I got to send this off to YouTube. Hopefully, they accept everything that I said in this video because I know I was talking kind of crazy. I ain't going to lie. I think I cursed a couple times here and there. Ah, oh, gosh. Got to watch my words, man. All right, man. I just turned 31, y'all, so. Mm-hmm. Well, the body did. All right, y'all. Peace.